So we're using containers at Lithium Technologies to solve the microservices use case. So we have small discrete pieces of code, application code. We want to get them out in a consistent manner uh, that's reproducible. So we're going after that use case. 70% of people said containers were, were the most important thing. What people want is something that's programmable, that gives them access to bare metal virtual machines and containers. In terms of that plumbing, you know, what are your, what's your wish list for that team that's running your OpenStack cloud? You know, how, how can they serve you better for what you want to do with the app side? We have a very small team, it's four engineers. And uh, we foot, had the team fully populated internally um, mid-January and started work. And then we'll turn on in production in two regions at the end of May. How, how can they serve you better for what you want to do with the app side? Yeah, so you know, with Mesos, you'd probably prefer to run it on bare metal, um, okay. which is a, you know, the, the more common implementation mode. And so I, uh, I nag Jason on about a weekly basis for Ironic at this point. So that's okay. the next big thing from the OpenStack side that we're looking for. Having OpenStack powered infrastructure, it makes the most sense, of, most sense for us and giving us the fastest path to production. Mm -hmm. Just deploying Kubernetes clusters using Puppet on OpenStack on large VMs. And uh, it's kind of like having one stop shop for all our use cases, mm -hmm. bare metal instances and containers. I'm very excited that this, uh, the container journey is here and that OpenStack is embracing it. And I'm very excited that people are on this journey with us. It's only going to make the platforms better. Um, and you know, we can really tackle real business uh, use cases with this platform. We're going to show you a fully containerized um, OpenStack on top of Kubernetes. OpenStack is just an application. We're fully containerizing the network, the hypervisor, and the control plane components here. So what you're seeing here is I'm launching on a bare metal cluster, a new VM um, that is fully containerized every single component of this. OpenStack gives you well-known APIs and interfaces to actually bootstrap your infrastructure. So containers need the same primitives as VMs, compute, network, and storage. So we have all these at the fingertips, at our fingertips via an API, which is OpenStack. So actually provisioning that infrastructure is very automatable and reusable. So laying something like Kubernetes on top is just very quick. We can iterate and actually get it out um, into the environment quickly. We got the idea that we can extend this platform and put there the Kubernetes to be able to start different services and microservices and orchestrate them in the IoT gateways directly in the city or in the any remote location. IoT is not about proprietary technology or so on about some specific vendor solutions, but it's about the power of the open source, the power of the community, that you can choose different pieces of the open source project and make them work. We have started a uh, application hackathon, and we just had the very first one in Taiwan just a few weeks ago. And we're trying to really um, build this community of application developers, help them get exposed to OpenStack, understand OpenStack client, all the different pieces. So we can see the Kitanis now is wearing a device that is for correcting the muscle movement. So the device can be for self-training or physical therapies and all the collecting data is going to the OpenStack cloud using Sahara's to do the big data analysis. So this is the first of many hackathons we're going to be doing using this as a template. All of them really help provide the mold and we're going to go do this all over the world. Look at what people are doing with very little money and what are they producing? These things can change the world. So, you know, I am really excited. I, I got a glimpse into the future. I had this aha moment in the keynotes. This is amazing.